Daryl Bergink here with Strip Till Farmer, and we're at the fourth annual National Strip Tillage Conference just outside of Omaha, having a great time. And uh, with me is Nick Jensen, the president of Thurston Manufacturing Company. They've got the Blue Jet products and been a sponsor of this conference since the beginning. Yep. And appreciate you doing that. But we want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the things you're hearing here, we get into a little bit of what you guys are offering. One of the things you, you talked about earlier was hearing was, was guys looking for versatility a lot. Um, and, and lots of that they can, you know, it, it, it has to do with optimizing their performance. And you guys deal a lot with versatility in what you offer. You know, tell us a little bit of what, how, how that's important to you guys. Thanks, Daryl. Mm -hmm. As always, we appreciate being a sponsor of the Strip Till Conference, you know, especially it's nice to kind of be right in our backyard this year, you know. Um, got to hear a lot uh, from speakers uh, this morning, particularly about, about challenges from an ever-changing soil and mm -hmm. how having a versatile row unit and a versatile machine um, can help them overcome those challenges in a strip-till environment. And I uh, just happened to be one of the Blue Jet customers, one of our customers that was talking about that. And it was a lot of fun to see, you know, one of your customers up on stage and going through the pictures and, and talking about everything about what he did and how he could make this adjustment or that adjustment or, or, or completely modify something here or there to make it work and customize for his situation. That's really what we try to do with Blue Jet, especially on our strip till offering is, mm -hmm. we try to make it as customizable as possible for the farmer while still providing something that, uh, that, is, that is highly functional mm -hmm. for an entire marketplace. Right. That's what our engineers' a goal is to, to provide. Right. We heard uh, one of the speakers today in the classroom was talking about narrow row strip till. And you know, a lot of people think you know, strip till is a 30 inch operation only, but there are guys doing it with 22 you know, inch, and I'd probably some guys doing even a little narrower, 20s. And you guys have come up with a concept. You've got something for the guys looking to do narrow rows. You tell us a little bit about that, and particularly one of the issues is residue flow sure, through, yep. through the machines. So, yep, actually, and yeah. both of the uh, Blue Jet speakers that we've heard uh, at the conference so mm -hmm. far have, have spoken a little bit about this, mm -hmm. and it, it all deals with, uh, with how you lay your row units out. And we, we're one of the only ones to offer a stretched and staggered row. Okay. So you kind of stretch that row out, mm -hmm. give the residue a little more time to process through the right. row. That way when you're in uh, light residue, for example, you can run a little faster. Mm -hmm. When you're in heavy residue, it'll still go through. And then we also like to stagger the row. And, and there was a particular example uh, uh, during the, the first talk uh, of, from a Blue Jet owner where he said that that stagger really helped the cross throw on the residue mm -hmm. managers. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's kind of what we're looking for when we're talking about staggered rows. Well, what we can do with, then with those staggered rows is we can narrow them up to 20s, we can narrow them up to 22s, mm -hmm. and get everything to flow through the machine very nicely, even in, say, like a, a, a cover crop that was recently sprayed and killed mm -hmm. off, we can get these rows to go through on a 22 inch and 20 inch stand. In you know, flexibility a lot we hear, and we mentioned it in the earlier question, we are talking about flexibility, but you guys have done a lot with uh, you know, your, 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 your frames and flexibility of frames and different types of uh, uh, frame options. That's been important to you guys as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've, we've never really been, Blue Jet's never really been a one size fits most company. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to dial it into the grower specific need right. while still making it economically feasible to offer several different options across an entire marketplace. Mm -hmm. And so how we do that in strip till is not only with the row unit, but with the number of frames that we yeah. offer. So we have some frames that, uh, that are three point or that have a lift assist, for example, for guys who need to hit tight contours or mm -hmm. side hills. We have some that have uh, dry boxes and liquid tanks on board, you know, so they, we can do uh, dual banding or dual placement to easily things like that. And then of course we have our commercial class machines uh, for high acre, you know, uh, high acre, high residue, high, high nutrient right. operations, and let's just go, go, go. Yeah. So yeah, we, we like to customize and tailor those to specific operations so a guy can really, really tune in his efficiency. Yeah, yeah, no. No, hey, thank you, Nick. This is Nick Jensen with uh, Thurston Manufacturing. Thanks for being here again. Thanks for joining us at the Strip Tillage Conference. And this is Daryl Brooking signing off from uh, NSTC 2017.